Ryan Perumal. Um, here to give you a product review on some climbing shoes and approach shoes that I was doing some gear testing on for Evolve uh, all through the spring, summer, and fall. Um, had a really busy season up in the mountains and rock climbing uh, and then uh, on the road doing some climbing this fall so got to really put a lot of miles on these shoes and have a good feel for them. Um, the first pair I'll talk about is the Escapist and, and these tended to be maybe at least of the three shoes that I'm talking about, my least favorite, um, though they, they fit the bill of an approach shoe. Um, the things that I liked about them were that they're really comfortable on the trail. They've got a pretty thick sole and they cushioned any kind of debris on the trail. You definitely didn't feel anything you were walking on. Uh, for me personally, that also leads to a downside in quite a bit of a heavier shoe, which doesn't do too well in your backpack while you're on a multi-pitch route or getting really far back in the backcountry. Um, the other thing I wasn't too keen on was, uh, at least for my foot, they're a really wide shoe and they have a really low top. So um, kind of felt like I was sloshing around in them a bit and then also got a lot of screen gravel in them if I was in that terrain. Um, and not, obviously not super ideal on snow. Uh, so overall, really good shoe for the crag, I think. Getting down the gorge trail, these things uh, are perfect for that sort of thing and, and I tend to wear them. Uh, accessing single pitch crags and real easy to get on and off, real comfy around town. So the Escapist by Evolve. Next shoe I'll talk about is the Pontus shoes. And uh, boy, I, this was actually my first pair of Evolve shoes and I was pretty skeptical uh, about changing and trying out a new brand and size. And boy, I've gone down to a quiver of just one shoe uh, because I feel like these shoes climbed technical stuff really well, edging, sport climbing, really steep stuff, um, it really excelled that. Um, and on top of that, I'm, I'm usually pretty picky about crack climbing sizes and shoes for that, and I thought these were excellent crack climbing shoes. Um, they're snug enough and fit me really well that they are comfortable for all day routes, like long technical climbing routes, uh, and they're snug enough and tight enough but still really comfortable. So they performed well and had a great balance of comfort and performance. I definitely recommend the lace-up versions of the Pontus for the Alpine stuff with crack climbing. They fit into cracks a little bit better and um, pretty lightweight shoe to carry in your pack, clip on your harness and just use them for the, the harder pitches on a, on a long route in the mountains. Uh, great cragging shoe um, and work really well for bouldering as well. Um, the last shoe I'll talk about is probably my favorite shoe, and the Maximus is a high top shoe that kind of resembles an old uh, rock climbing shoe from the 70s or early 80s. Um, it feels like a rock climbing shoe, it's, it's quite a bit lighter than any other approach shoes. Um, if you compare these two shoes by weight, the Maximus is definitely a little bit lighter, um, and part of that is because of these mesh vents on here, and those vents are really amazing for Sierra summertime hikes up when you're at the lower elevations. So. Uh, really ideal shoe for the approach hike in uh, and then they climb really well. Uh, I was really uh, impressed in how they, they worked both crack climbing as well as face climbing. Um, if I could change anything about these shoes I'd make them a tiny bit stiffer uh, so they'd hold edges a little bit better so your calves don't get as tired. Um, but this was my go-to shoe all summer. I did um, pretty much every day that I guided in the mountains I was wearing these shoes. Um, and, and they're kind of replacing my uh, lightweight summer alpine mountaineering boots because they're high top. Uh, I didn't even need to wear a gaiter with them and the way they cinch down they're really well padded around the ankles and how they cinch down around my skinny little ankles. I'm sure it'd be better if you had normal size ankles. Um, it kept all the, the scree and the dirt and even snow out of the out of the shoes so I was really happy with how they performed with that. Um, so again, a tiny bit stiffer and uh, it would hold the crampon even better, but I was able to use these shoes with little uh, strap-on crampons as well for approaches across small snowfields and glaciers. Um, so the Pontus, or sorry, the Evolve Maximus, my Sierra shoe of choice for summertime the high Sierra. Um, hope to see you guys out here in the Sierras. Come join us for some amazing climbing adventures. Thanks a lot for joining.